What's up guys, Mojo here. So today, February cold start. Brian, you got it, what you got? Hello there. <laughs> right, so, how are you? <laughs> how are you? Uh, so, for the cold start of the month, I figured we'd practice some more, uh, or work on some more PID stuff. So, we're gonna start probably about, what is this, like 20 yards? No, like 15. Yeah, we'll start about 15 yards from the targets there. We got two targets with cardboard, little mini cardboard silhouettes on it. Each mark, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta. Uh, mix it up a little bit just to be... Or Adam Boy, Charles David, depending what, what side you grew up on. Sorry, go ahead, continue. Anyways, so you're gonna start with your back turn to the targets. Um, at the shot timer, you're gonna turn around. The, the person or whoever is just gonna say two targets. It can be on the same ones or it can be on different ones. You're gonna fire three rounds per to, uh, each target. In between, you're gonna put two rounds on the steel in between the two cardboard targets. So we're gonna do, let's say you call A and D. So it's gonna go A, I'll put shots on A, transition to the steel, then shots on. Three on A, two on steel, two on D. Or if I call A and B, it's three on A, two on steel, three on B. So three paper, two steel. Yes. Got it, okay, cool. So Brian's gonna demo it first and then we'll make it work from there. And I'm real quick, I'm gonna walk down there and show you guys how big the targets are. Eight so ten give you guys an idea. Eight by 10. Yeah, so give you guys an idea. It's a child size target. Yeah, they are Whoa. very small <laughs> targets. Um, yeah, it's like an index card was the A. So they're, sm they're smaller and I, I bought them on Amazon thinking they were bigger, but they weren't, so. All right, so Brian's at about the 15. Remember guys, we're mic'd up so every everything can be heard. Okay, right, that should be fine. Hello there. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> mm, got a slice he's of he's going to shoot the Glock 9mm. <laughs> yeah, I put the cookie down. Uh, all right. Delta Bravo. Delta Bravo. Delta Bravo. Good job. Um, Excellent. Your first shot hit my stick. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. You owe me lunch now. <laughs> Damn it, sushi. Everything else, sushi? <laughs> Everything else is good though. Uh, total time of 8.84. <laughs> so, <clears throat> one to the left, not bad. Good shooting. Good shooting, buddy. Yeah. Bravo, Charlie. Bravo, Charlie. Six, seven, one. Good. That was kind of hard. I was PIDing through my optic, but we'll talk about that later here in a second. And I shouldn't have done that. B is good. I might have thrown them farther to the left on C. Uh, your first shot was to the left, and then you correct it, and then you went back to where you were. Yeah, dang it. Okay, cool. Alpha, Delta. Seven one seven. Seven one seven. Good, 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 good. Let's go walk down there. I said Alpha Delta was the one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Delta. I have no idea where my round went. It's okay. These are, these are your rounds. So. Okay. Yeah. Then Alpha. Okay. All right. So some takeaways. What did you, PJ? What's some Things you did well, things you think you could have done better? Um, I think just my cognitive th um, thinking, going from one target to the next. Um, I'm not used to looking at letters when I'm transitioning. Yeah, so of course. It, it just creates more um, thinking. Yeah, it does. Uh, and processing when you're shooting. So, yeah, that's it, it's good. It's a good drill. Brian? Uh, definitely, like, for me, like, when I was facing upper range and I turned, I believe you called Delta first for me, right? Yeah, I did. I believe so. Uh, went right when I was turning because I believe I did turn counterclockwise so I had to do like almost a full rotation and when I got there with the pistol that's how I ended up hitting your stick because I kind of didn't hit the brakes when I was like moving my pistol to get on target and stuff like that so I corrected for that and got on target and then obviously my Bravo target was completely clean so just okay. knowing when to hit the brakes when mm -hmm. instead of just over like overshooting it. I think I don't know for me I don't know if I actually did it but one of the things I always try to do if I can I'll turn gun side because obviously it's quicker but mm -hmm. that's another topic of discussion for another day. Usually I try to bring my eyes first, see, 
then work the process of getting the gun out so I could see what I'm going to beforehand. And then during the process of the transitionings and looking for which one, we already saw where the targets were A, B, then C and D, but still like I was still hunting for it because I wasn't 100% yeah. sure, right? And I was searching through my optic when it should have been look, low ready, I see it, then bring my sights up versus immediately going like this. Because like, again, if there were people with a description, it was a person that had a color of a jacket on. Right. A, 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 it's easier because then mm -hmm. I could see that. But because the targets are so much smaller, that was a little bit interesting for me. So now what we're going to do, we're going to work some aggressive transitions. So we'll go back to the 15 and we're going to do two rounds on each one. So we're going to call, they're going to be in a sequential order so we know which one we're going to. So I'll demo it first. It'll be like A, B, C, and D. So A, B, C, D. So working that really, really wide transitions and trying to focus on driving that gun. And then we'll see where we go from there. Okay, cool. Let's add some movement. Yeah. So A, B have to move to C and D. So get online with your post. Get online with the post and, and the targets itself. So let's try that out. So A, B, C, and D. We'll use this white paper right there. And then, is that good with that? Yeah, yeah. that's good. Cool. All right, tell me when. Clean the D, I think I had one high on the D. Everything else felt really, really good. I prepped the movement beforehand, so I shot one, two, and then once I cleaned the first one, as soon as I felt good on the B, I started moving, setting up the position prior to getting into it, and then working that. And then, damn, that 2011 reload, I felt really good with that one. Dang, nice. okay. You clean, you clean the D, there's eight shots on there. Okay, cool, perfect. Get it, move, 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 get there. So with you, Brian, you know what I, did you, did you see what Brian did? As far as did you, like, the, like getting, did you notice anything? Um, I noticed that he transitioned over first before running. That's one. So yeah. you know what you did? You did this number. Watch my feet. Ah, you, your feet weren't set. Yeah, I stepped into the. You stepped into the. Stepped you into stepped the into it, and then obviously with here, uh, I mean. I was just thinking about it too much. I was like, oh, I'll just shoot it from here. Wait, no, it's supposed to. Be no, you gotta move. Yeah. So that that was one, and then get there, right? Yeah. So obviously we can jog. It's not a bit. We're not like hazing each other on the range, right? But realistically speaking, shoot, shoot, get over there, and then build. I always build my grip before getting into position, so then I could lean out. But I mean, realistically speaking, you could also do leave the gun out and then fall into the position too. It just depends. Up. Oh. Oopsies, forgot, sorry, it's a timer. Ah, nice. Good job, everything's a hit. You hit the stick on the right though. Did I? Mm. You hit my clip. You bastard. Ah. <laughs> All right, so with this one, both of you guys, like, let's work on now. We're gonna transition it a little bit and we're gonna relatively work somewhat of the same thing. But what I'm starting to see now is your guys' exiting and entering of the position. So let's do two and two, A and then D. So let's try this out. So when we work this position, gun comes out, one, two, start cheating start to cheat the uh, the movement a little bit. And then when you set into the position, get your gun up before you actually get there. Cause you guys got into the position, then got gun up. Mm. So let's try working that. So, Brian, tell me when. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Gun comes out and then when it's, once you're done shooting, like one of the things we always talk about, like, I can absolutely do this, like let's say for police perspective, right? I can absolutely cover my target. Am I gonna shoot like this? I mean, cause you know how they always say like, make sure you cover the door. Mm -hmm. It's like the objective here is moving, not shooting. Right. So if this has got to happen, I got to shoot here. I have to move to a new position. Me doing this does nothing. I'm, am I gonna shoot like that and be negligible for my rounds? Or am I gonna do like this and actually cover it? There's a difference. So here, just in basis of performance shooting, gun comes out, start shooting the shots, break down the position into and move to an extent to where you have the best 
form for your movement. So not necessarily worrying about like this or like this, but if you run better like this, run like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't necessarily worry about where, as long as the gun's in the safe direction. So Brian's- It's one of those like uh, competition style training scars that- Yeah, yeah, cause it's like all the guys will always do this number. Oh, down range. Yeah. Down range. Down range. When, remember when I was down in Vegas, like we were, that was going like this and we were moving up and down the- Yeah, it's like you can go that. down or you can go yeah. up, it's up to you. So give that a shot. So remember, gun comes out, get into the position, start cheating it prior to you exiting yeah. and then entering the position as well. Ready, stand by. Gas, gas. Good job, bro. Nice. So still, you didn't start your movement until yeah, the I, second. I, I, I even noticed it too. Do you see what I'm saying, PJ, yeah. with the movement? Give it a try. Give it a okay. try. What it's for me is like I'm trying to account for like make sure like oh did I get it or not? And then I was like okay I got it. Now right. I'm gonna break the position. And go. No, that makes sense. Like, no. Okay, second shot's down. I don't care if it hit or not. Break, break my position and go. That makes sense. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. All right, ready, PJ? Yep. Stand by. Nice, good, 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 good. Nice. I still saw what you do with your gun. <laughs> well, I was trying to get my mag out. I saw that, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's try going left to right. So set this thing up here. Um, we'll make it a shorter distance so the camera doesn't have to do as much to try to keep up with us. All right, ready? let's go with whatever, hold on. All right, I'm ready. Felt good. That one felt good. Nice. So you're coming to like a dead halt. A couple of things you can do, elongate the strides to slow down or chop your feet. Yeah. So you're doing one of these numbers. That. Yeah, I'm literally like spearing my foot into the ground. Yeah, so you can do a couple things. When you're moving into that position, you can chop your feet to slow down. But one of the best ways that I've seen taking a hard plant with your outside foot. So watch, when I come in, hard plant, then lean out. I barely made it. It's like right on the edge of the silhouette. Right here. Ah, still hit the silhouette though. Yeah. At this point in time with these silhouettes, like they're small enough that we like, hey, let's hit the silhouette. If you could shoot for the A, hell yeah, but it, it's not a necessity. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Try the other way. Oh God. Good. Ah, good, shit. good, 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 good. How'd that feel? Good, good, but I- I, I saw the one yeah, on the left. I nicked it. Yeah. That you, you still hit the guard board again. Yeah. So a couple different variations we could throw into this one for sure. And right now I think the concentration of this is getting in and out of the positions. Mm -hmm. So, guys wanna try it with rifle? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, see how we do. All right, so we brought the rifles out. We're gonna we're gonna mess around with this and see how we do here. Um, just remember, heat over beer. You know what I'm saying? Heat your beer. Yeah, heat over beer. Heat your beer. Got it. Heat my beer. Don't heat your beer. That's gross. Yeah, <laughs> weirdo. Let's try to do um, just the movement portion. So let's do two targets. So, so pick two and send it. I'm gonna go for A and D for D's nuts. But also because when I usually work and the rifle comes out. The gloves usually come out too. So let's put some gloves on. Thank God we went to a rifle because the rain's fucking up my RMR. <laughs> We're gonna transition. So I'm rocking the Magpul gloves. These things are my favorite. Love these things for patrol, they're awesome. Um, decently good grip, so it's not too bad in that aspect and shoot with them pretty well, so I don't mind them at all. That felt good. I was a little slow to get the shots off on here. Let me try one more time. I forgot your gun's perfectly gas, so I took a sh I took a round to the face. <laughs> <laughs> I took a case into the face. Head over board is good. This um this bumpiness in the shoulder straps kind of weird. So but you're running a new carrier? Yeah, new carrier. The LPAC. Velocity Systems LPAC. No, not new, but we'll talk about that here in a minute. All right. All right, ready? Yeah, I'm gonna try high ready. Work this rep. Stand over here. Oh god, I pulled that first shot. Ah! Damn. Okay. The first shot was just low. It hit the cardboard still, but it was a little low. I was kind of prepping for the double tap, and I didn't commit to the trigger pull. Mm. Nice. 
Nice, dude. Dude, for the homies at 175. Oh. <laughs> nice. Are you ready? Ooh, very interesting. Good. I like that, the high ready movement. Yeah. Because I do move it high ready sometimes too. But my only problem with it is for me, my sling is so tight that I don't think I could relinquish enough to go high. Gotcha. Let me try that. I'm gonna lose some. I want to try that because that's actually really. I like that because I can, I can like hug, hug my rifle in. I have control over it. Yeah, yeah. So I don't that's know. not bad. No, no, that, that, that fucking works. Personal preference. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Because like I feel better. Plus I do it in Call of Duty. Like, so. What's that? Plus it's like in Call of Duty. So. <laughs> yeah, dude, exactly. No, because like I feel comfortable doing this with my arms if I need to. Because uh, then I keep two hands on the gun. Gotcha. And I sway my arms. That's ah. why. And in that case, I'm not worried about flagging anybody because none of you guys are there. Okay. So yeah. maybe in this case, if like, <laughs> if I was doing this, because yeah, yeah, my only problem is like the sling of the rifles in my face. Right. But let me give it a try. I like that. Yeah. Let me try. Let me do high ready exclusively. Let me go B and D. <laughs> oh shoot. Try that again. I had to do real. I don't know what. Do it again. Do it again. I have, I stripped the mag. I never strip mags. Oh, okay, you know why? Because I was out? running. Ah. That's why. Yeah. Okay, instinctively I did it. Oh, that's right. good. I'll take that as a win. Yeah. Okay, B and D. There we go. Nice. So it, it felt good. Um, I just feel better mounting it when I run like this. Yeah. Mounting it from here is a lot easier from here. Right. See, my train of thought with that is when I'm when I'm moving from one location to the next, especially with that distance. Yeah. My goal is to get from point A to point B as quickly as possible. So for me, the arm swing in motion is just the most natural for me. Right. Right. So right. That's why so I want to get in that position. Up. Yep. I'm willing to. Oh, let's let's. Yeah. Let's play around with this. Yeah. Once I get to where I'm going, then I can establish a shooting platform. Brian, can you go down there with your timer? Yeah. Okay, so I want you to try this. Okay. Shoot the two. Mm -hmm. So right here, shoot your two, run with the high ready. Yeah. Actually, be better yet, start aimed in at target, save some ammo. Start aimed in at the target. Mm -hmm. When you hear the beep, run, run, set up and shoot two. All right. Going at the high ready. So running with the gun at the high ready. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Time? 389. 389. So come back. Do it at the low ready now. Okay. So run with both hands on the gun. So aim at the target. Yeah. Aim at the target. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Trying to figure out how to run over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three, six, four. Which one's faster? Your that one. This one is? The lower ready. Okay. And you were even bladed towards the target the whole time. Yeah. There yeah. You go. So, hey, uh, yeah, it's do you better. Try, Brian. Honestly, yeah. like, I don't want to pinch seconds, but I feel like it might have been a little faster because your hands are already like on the right. Yeah, that's what right, I'm saying. Right. Yeah. So that's let's get. Okay. So you I mean, swing the right, right, you're not having to find it and stuff like that. Exactly. No, that makes that. See that? That's where my train of thought was. But again, we're testing it to see which. Yeah. Like physically to see which one's faster and which one's better for you. Right. Because obviously, here's the here's the realistic thing. Mm -hmm. If you like it at the high ready. Right, dude. Yeah. Well, no, no one can tell you you're wrong. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But it's good to explore. It's good to explore. Mm -hmm. Brian, you want to get me on this one? I'm gonna try it the high ready. You didn't pick it up. Your gun's so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Griffin Armament Dual Lock Five, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's try this. Again. I'll get. I'll get up on your muzzle device this time. Go go. Oh wait, hold on. Ah! You piece of shit. Hold on. Wait. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. Three three. Three three. I felt faster that one, but I took a while to get it set in. I was moving too fast. Right. Alright, high ready first. Yeah, try high ready first. Stand by. Fuck, sorry. <laughs> Your gun's so quiet, dude. <laughs> right back at you. Get back over there. Are <laughs> right, you ready? Yeah. Stand by. Four nineteen. Ah. Try already again. Stand by. 
Okay. 447. So you were faster on the low ready, yeah. but you were, now you were extra cognitive on the high ready. Yeah. You're moving yeah. slower. No, well, but, but it's good that we tried it because it clearly shows that, you know, like one technique may be may more be efficient. Faster. It it may be faster, more be. efficient. It yeah. might be. Even when yeah. I extend it all the way, mm -hmm. and when I'm at high ready, it still feels too tight to my body. Yeah, yeah. It, it does. And that, that was my thing. Cause like, bro, mm -hmm. like the, the track we had the other night, mm -hmm. I was literally like this the whole time. Mm -hmm. Like I would put the gun up occasionally, but like having my sling so tight like this was better for me. Cause it okay. holds real quick. So like, so now when I needed to move, mm -hmm. all it was is this. And I could present from here, right. do this, even do this part from here. Yeah. But when I need to go like this, I need mm -hmm. to set it up for that. I see. Have it loose and then do that. And now when it wants to chill, it's way the hell down here. Okay. And then it gets caught under my equipment and I'm like, fuck. So it's just the way you have your sling set up and yeah, just what do you like with your yeah. gear? Just okay. for, for me with the sling yeah. purposes. And obviously you articulated very well why you like the hybrid. Yeah, and, and I never works. tested it. Like me, just naturally, I want to swing my arms when I run. And yeah. that's why I did it. So I thought it was faster. Yeah, I mean, but clearly. It yeah. might be for you yeah. still. Cause Maybe. it's, remember we did the malfunction clearances we yeah. did? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that was different, right? Yeah. But it showed like, hey, we may be used to one way, Mm -hmm. But like hell, the proof was in the pudding. Right. Pudding. <laughs> the pudding. Pudding. <laughs> what did I say pudding for? I don't get it. Pudding. <laughs> pudding. Well, with this being said, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you guys learned something from the cold start. Huge thanks for Brian to coming up with it on the on the on the spot on the fly, and then huge thanks for PJ to coming out, guys. Remember, be a dude. Don't be a dick. Take care, and remember, the Asian trio loves you.